go. That should be good. Let me check the volume on this thing. Is that <clears throat> see if I got this right. Okay. Testing. Volume test. Yes. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Let's check, see if the viewer list works. The viewer list works! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, thank you. Sorry about that, people. Okay. Mic volume is a bit loud. Uh, hmm. I could try to adjust that a little bit. Give me a sec. Try to. Oh, whoops! That's the wrong thing. <laughs> Okay, I, I took it down two bars. Is that any better? Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's cool. Now, another quick test. Uh, can anybody hear the game volume? Actually, let me turn something else off. Turn my air conditioning unit off so I won't be able to mess it up. Okay. Barely? Um. That's probably going to require me having to get this back up. And. Let me open my volume mixer. You couldn't hear the air conditioning that much? Okay. Well, I might turn it on after, again after a little bit. It was getting a little bit cold. Alright, I got the game up to 40. I'll turn it up to 50. Okay. How's that? Better? Okay. Alright. Okay, then. Let me, um... Uh, I'll probably get a call going in a little bit. Um... I'll just start things off with just, uh... With just me. So, with that... Let me, um... Yes! Last time on Time to Triumph. Let's open the scene up here. Okay. How's the visual? Okay, okay, good, thanks. Okay, so, as Baz was going to say, last time we got the pendants, we went to the future, we found out how much suck balls, because Ganon's king, Zelda's dead, and supposedly Link's dead too, but even though Link's still very much here. So, he goes and finds the descendants of the wise men. Goes back in time, steals the ocarina. Turns out Link's the thief. Big shocker. So, we go back in time. Just, uh, explain what's going on with Zelda. Then we decide to go back in time again. And here we are now. <laughs> it's one big ice cube. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Ganon's Ganon's a total dumbass. We've we've pretty much established that, and he loves pink apparently, because he loves bunnies. He's got some kind of bunny fetish. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, and thanks to finding some gold coin and tipping a certain knight of higher rule, we now know all the secrets. And yes, that one dungeon that was. Oh, God, was that annoying. Okay, so. Also, uh, how you doing, Leo Hightower? <laughs> Are you still 
keeping track of the deaths? <laughs> I guess you would be. Okay, well, since you are keeping track of deaths, um, let's see. Are you also keep, have you also kept the list of um, of all the references we've discovered in this game so far? Let's see. Let's make a quick recap. We seen references from not counting Zelda games, by the way. We've seen references from the following: Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, Illusion of Gaia, Phoenix Wright. Dragon Ball. One Piece. Chrono Trigger. Um, yes, Yoshi's Island. Mario. Yeah. Because we saw Baby Bowser. Oh! You didn't see that part, the uh, anime? During a certain boss fight, during the during the watery caves in the future, some it was a certain uh, monster from a previous dungeon we did earlier on that was using the lull technique, using the signs, and one of the signs as a scroll and cross, crossbones, you were in a straw hat. It was a One Piece reference. Uh, let's see. Am I forgetting anything? Hmm. Oh, Castlevania! Thank you! Yes, Castlevania. That's another one. Used quite a bit of uh, music. Sword of Mana. From that vampire, Count Lee. That was the name of the boss that we fought in the Pyramid. Yes. Uh, let's see. I think that about covers up to thus far on references. So, with that... Um... Yes, I did say Phoenix Wright. So let us make our way onward. Since the snowfall has stopped, we can actually venture onward. Oh, Rubber Ducky references it. Okay, we'll add that too. So! Let's try not getting ourselves mauled by wolves again. That would be, that would be grand, wouldn't it? Those wolves... That's all you're going to be mostly seeing in the past are wolves. Wolves rule overall. Three hearts per hit. That's with the blue tunic. Imagine what it would have been if I didn't have the blue tunic. Can't let you do that stuff. Oh, what's this? The Temple of Time? Hmm. Well, let's check it out then. Let's see, we can only go into the left, okay. And we see another one of those, what do they call them again? Steels. Okay. A melody is engraved on the steel. And what is this? A new tune? And yes it is! We've just learned the song of Double Time! So apparently, now we can go back to the future! We can go back to the present now! So we can travel both to past, present, and future anytime we want. Isn't life grand? Song of Double Time, just like in, um... Majora's Mask. Yes, Bowser, I, I do know that. We have to get that... Oh god, you know what? I'm tired of these wolves. I'm getting out of here. Let's go back to the present. Double time! You know what? I just noticed something. If we get a song to go back in time in the future, and a song to go to the future in the past, what song do we get for the present? I'm curious now. Let's go back in time and get in a certain position and then go back to the future or present.
Okay. It's going to get crazy because we're going to be traveling back and forth through time like crazy. Okay. So what's in the present Temple of Time then? A melody is engraved on the steel. The Song of Soaring! Now we can teleport to any place around Hyrule! We now have all the songs. This will really help with our traveling. So, let's go to Hyrule Town and trade some of those gems off, finally! There wasn't warping at first, but now we can warp. Let's see, what was that for? Ah, here we go. There's the shop. Okay, we have 40 gems, exactly. First thing on our list we're going to get is the radar. Yes. Now that the radar is in our possession... Oh, nothing takes its place. Okay. So, next we can get... Ooh. We can get a bottle to carry potions, or we can increase our strength or defense. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I wonder... Two defense. That's three say defense. Four say defense. You want me to get defense? Kill the things faster is better. Uh, I think we got more people voting for defense. So improvement on defense for 20 power gems? I'd say that's a fair trade. So defense increases by one point. Bam. Now check this out. You can get another one, but now it's double to 40 power gems. So we don't have any bottles yet. Big deal. It's not like this is the only bottle in this whole game. I'm sure we'll find others. Okay. Now then. Finally got some gems spent. Now, uh, now we there's somebody else we have to go see, but we got to go back to the past to do it. But before we continue, I guess I will go ahead and get things started with calls. So give me one second, peoples. All right, here we go. We'll start off with this group. Oh, hi. Hi. How was you, Vicious? I was fine. How's you? You need Link? Well, I'll be there. I'm looking at stuff. You look at... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh-huh. Okay, the... Can you read my comment? Uh, which one? I have too much power. I'm afraid we need to catch you. Oh, no. You'll never catch me. You'll never catch me. <laughs> Why did my volume lower? Okay, what did you say? I'm sorry, I got a little cut out. I was reading what, um, what, what the comment. What did you say? I said, you will never catch me. <sighs> we gotta go back to the future. Where's Doc Brown when you need him? <laughs> yes! Oh, God, yes. What's this? Okay, back to the game. A Metroid reference? I don't think I've seen a Metroid reference yet. I'm sure we'll encounter that soon enough. Meanwhile, let's soar to Link's house at 5. And then we go to the past. 
So yeah, Vicious, we just discovered, we just, in a matter of three minutes, we can now uh, warp around town, or around Hyrule, and we can travel back and forth through through time now. And oh, not just yeah. go back. Okay, so, let's see who this old man is that's living in my house in the past. Okay, technically it's really not my house, so I'll let this go. I can't let the one in the future go, because he stole my home. So anyways, <laughs> hello Link, I was waiting for you. You was? You you was waiting for me in the past. And yes, he does look like Sahasrala. I am the leader of the seven wise men, and also the most powerful of them. I saw you in my dreams, as well as a very sad future. Your presence here seems to show that I was successful, at least partially. What are you successful at what? I was the one who created the portal to the future for you to be the witness of my visions. Huh? Yeah. Uh. Yay, they have another skin. Okay. I also built the Temple of Time with the other's wise men so that you would travel as you wish across the times. Uh, okay. From now on, it's up to you. You have to find the seven magic crystals that will open the way to the legendary goddess's temple and be the first to find and take the Triforce. That is the happiest man alive now. Shall his path lead the true hero to the Triforce? Yes, Abdelex. Yes, um, Abdelex. The tombstone I did not read. Allow me to explain. When, I, when we first traveled to the future, there was a certain tombstone that I passed up on. Apparently, that is Link's tombstone. Supposedly, he was dead in the future. Oh Ganon won. Ganon kills Zelda and Link, and he's the Actually, Supreme uh, Leader. the funny thing about the Link's tombstone in uh, Final Fantasy 1, um, yeah, I remember that. yeah, you can find a tombstone. You can find a tombstone of Link. Oh, interesting. Yep. Oh, that's what I was kind of like, wow, I never knew that. You can also find it in the PSP version, too. Yes. They better have left a reference in there. Well, it was actually it was supposed to be the uh, hero from Dragon Quest. Oh, yeah, I did read about that. Why did they take it out the last second, though? Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo wanted it to represent something to them. Oh. Uh... So now the wolves only take two damage from us instead of three. So we won't get mauled as bad, but still bad. <laughs> yes, supposedly we did get the, the Triforce and Link to the Past. But, as has been established, no matter how many times Ganon is struck down, he keeps coming back. Again and again and again. So... We're trying to find a way to stop stop him from coming back. And I'm down to three hearts already, ain't I? What happens when you use the song of inverted time while in the past? You know what? That's a good question, Abdelex. Why don't we test that out? Let's see if we go back even further in time. I can't believe I found this Minecraft. Oh my god! If you haven't played it yet, hack slash blue is an awesome game. Oh, cool. You gotta play like, crew boss. This on sale. Yes, you saw the black Tyranor. The giant stone dinosaur monster from uh Chrono Trigger. It's a Chrono Trigger scene. Yeah, actually, of Chrono Trigger, I was just watching, uh, somebody did, like, a Minecraft, uh, map of the entire, pal uh, entire area of Zeal. Really? Yeah, they, took, they did all of Zeal in the sky. I was fucking, I was like, holy shit, that is amazing. That's, that's awesome. Oh my god, I can't believe this is fucking awesome. Yeah, we still got gems to pick up, and that's what we're going to be searching for as we explore this new area. So expect a lot of bushwhacking and stone lifting. 
Except for the dark ones. We don't have the right gloves yet. And possibly lots of death. Yes. Does the radar work? Yeah, it works. Let's see. Here we are in Kakariko Village, where it plays the right music for once. Oh my god. <laughs> So let's see what kind of information we can gather from the townsfolk here. Tell you what the Dragon Balls are. <laughs> we're not looking for Dragon Balls, we're looking for Force Gems. <laughs> Although it'd be kind of cool if we did find a Dragon Ball. Dragon Balls. Gotta look for those Dragon Balls. <laughs> it's been a long time since he gave me anything. Since who gave you... What, who are you talking about, lady? Um, okay. That... What? Then we could just wish Ganon out of existence. No, actually that won't work because they tried the same thing with Nappa and Vegeta and the dragon couldn't do it. Remember? <laughs> the mountain north... The mountain north of the village hit a temple. Far end of this temple is hidden an incredible treasure, but it's far too dangerous to go in. Of course it is. This village is under the protection of the seven wise men. Because they're magic, you have to go pretty far before seeing a wolf. Not really! You don't have to go that far. They come at you pretty damn quick! <laughs> Whoa! He's making a movie in Hollywood as we speak. Yes! Nappa is making, making the next big blockbuster hit right now. <laughs> 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 As long as it's not Dragon Ball Evolution 2, yes. <laughs> Damn it! Napa, why did you betray us? No! You were in the. Our chief, the most powerful of yeah, so no, Some years ago, we were eight wise men. One of us, Agnum, thought that it was our duty to take the Triforce and to use it for the sake of everyone. Our chief squarely refused. He said that such a power should not fall into the hands of men, that the consequences could be disastrous. After this quarrel, Agnum left the order, but lately he reappeared endowed with strange powers. We unfortunately do not know what he may have in mind. <laughs> well, he, he does go on a bit of a search for a bunch of maidens, so... <laughs> A legendary pirate came in Hyrule long ago. He was captured after a long fighting against the Hylian Knights of the time. The day of his public execution, a man in the crowd asked him where he had hidden his treasure. The pirate explained that it was hidden in four temples in Hyrule. After his this declaration, many men went in search of his treasure. But no one ever came back! I know, I was starting here, I was like, wait a minute. That sounds like something that you hear in One Piece. <laughs> Be king of the pirates now? Is that it? Gotta be king of the pirates! <laughs> Damn. I said king of the pirates! Did you meet a man named Ganondorf? When he was just a child, he almost ended up in the stomach of a wolf, but he was saved by a former member of our order. Since then, he considers us, considers his savior as his master. Damn it! Why didn't he just let the wolf eat him? <laughs> None of this mess would have happened. See, there was a time when he was just about dead right there, and it's like, nope. <laughs> he had to be saved you because. Be Got to be the good guy here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ganondorf, have a good master. Da da da. <laughs> yes. Our chief asks us to gather our powers in order to create a very special temple east of here. He says that this temple would save the world. That temple would be the Temple of Time. And yet, strangely enough, supposedly it would come at 
Oh, excuse me, coming to play in Saving the World. But no one could have predicted what kind of mess would happen like we're going through now. <laughs> How about you go back in time and stab that little gang guy in there? Done. That's like, go back in time, find that wolf, sick him on Ganondorf again. <laughs> you know what? Today, today is, your, is your day, wolf. You will be the hero. Yes. The wolf no. being the one to destroy the root of all evil right at its source. You say hi, Rule. Congratulations. You shot a rocket huge statue. <laughs> I am the chief of the village, and uh, anyway, the wise men are the one in control here, so that doesn't make you much of a chief, then, does it? Old fart. Give me your gem. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, really. A pearl for a jar of spice and a bag of rice. Yeah! What? What? What do you mean I don't have enough? I don't have a... I don't have a jar of spice. Fucking spider. That's fucking spider. Can't let you do that, Ganondorf. What do you trade? A frosty rock for a tapestry, an amulet, and a perfume. So we can get another frosty rock. It's gonna take a lot of effort to do it. Yeah. Let's see. What did she say? You are here in the safer village. You could find nothing to see within the hamlet.